The Evolution of Computing Next, let's review the brief history of computers and learn how computing technologies actually evolved during the last 80 years. Historically speaking, since the introduction of the first computing concepts, we can classify computers into five separate generations. Generation 1. Vacuum tubes. The period is 1940 to 1956. The first computer was built by Dr. John V. Atanasov and Clifford Berry. It was named the Atanasov Berry Computer, or the ABC. In 1945, the first general purpose digital computer was built and named ENIAC, which stands for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. It weighed over 30 tons and had 18,000 vacuum tubes for data processing. This computer was the size of a whole and relied solely on machine language, or binary language. The ENIAC could only perform a single task at a time and did not run any operating system. It was introduced to the public on February 14, 1946. In 1951, the Universal Automatic Computer, or the UNIVAC, was introduced to the public and purchased by the U.S. Census Bureau. This model was the first to run with memory and an operating system. More than 100 programming languages were developed at that time, and the use of storage devices, such as tape devices and disks, became more popular. The two most notable machines of this era were the UNIVAC and the ENIAC, until transistor-based computing was introduced in 1956. Generation 2. Transistors. The period is 1956 to 1963. During this era, vacuum tube-based computing was replaced by transistors, which were never significantly used in computers until the late 50s. Those changes drastically improved the performance of computers, making them smaller, faster, cheaper, and less power-consuming. However, they were still subject to damaging levels of heat. At the same time, high-level programming languages were being developed, such as early versions of COBOL and FORTRAN. Transistor-based computing was the first technology to store data and instructions on its own memory. Generation 3. Integrated Circuits the period is 1964 to 1971. At this phase, transistors were being miniaturized to fit into semiconductors. This contributed even further by significantly increasing the performance and efficiency of computers. These were the first computers to run several applications at once, while displaying a clear user interface and allowing the users to interact with it by using input devices such as keyboards, mice, or floppy disk readers. Those improvements made computers much more available and affordable to private consumers and gave birth to a new mass market which emerged during the 60s. Generation 4. Microprocessors. The period is 1972 to 2010. In the early 70s, Intel brought the new computing revolution by positioning all computer elements, such as the processor, the memory, and the input and output controllers, into a single component and developed the Intel 4004 chip, which later on housed thousands of integrated circuits. After this breakthrough, in 1981, the first computer, which was particularly designed for home use, was introduced to the public. The first Macintosh, or Apple, computer was introduced only three years later, in 1984. During this period, new concepts of computer networking were developed due to the increase in their demand and the need to link them to each other. This need gave birth to the Internet as we know it today. Graphical user interface-based operating systems such as Mac OS System 1, Xerox, Windows 1, Irix 3, and later versions were introduced along up to Mac OS 10.6 and Windows 7. Generation 5 is by far the latest computer generation, and its main identifier is artificial intelligence. The period is 2010 up till now. As you can see nowadays, more and more computing devices are using artificial intelligence features as part of their base operating system, starting with speech recognition, facial recognition, or spam filters, and evolving into smart personal assistants, advanced security applications, business forecasting, and even the artificial writing of code. And perhaps the essence and the main importance of the fifth generation of computing will be using artificial intelligence to ultimately create machines and write code that is capable of processing and responding to human language or deeply learning new features independently.